In this video, we will learn about what is Heisenberg matrix. It is better to understand Heisenberg matrix in the form of upper Heisenberg matrix or lower Heisenberg matrix. Because Heisenberg matrix can either be upper Heisenberg or it can either be lower Heisenberg. So let's go through upper Heisenberg matrix first. This is Hasenberg matrix. This N here. Now, going through its definition, it is a matrix. It is actually a square matrix. Having all elements equal to zero below first sub-diagonal now let's take an example here I will write example here of 4 cross 4 let's suppose 1 2 5 7 1 5 7 8 here 0 minus 1 minus 2 6 and the last row is 0, 0, 3, 5. This is a 4 cross 4 upper Hasenberg matrix. Now again going through the definition it is a square matrix clearly it is a 4 cross 4 matrix and therefore it is a square matrix having all elements equal to 0 below first sub diagonal. Now what is sub diagonal? Sub diagonal all the sub diagonals are the diagonals which are present below the main diagonal now this is a sub diagonal here 1 minus 1 3 this is a sub diagonal this is also a sub diagonal 0 0 and this is also a sub diagonal now they are according to the definition they are saying that all the elements are equal to 0 below first sub diagonal this is the first sub diagonal here because it is immediately below the main diagonal so all the elements are equal to 0 below first sub diagonal these are non-zero elements here 1 minus 1 3 and the rest of the elements which are below that are all equal to 0 so that is upper Heisenberg matrix similarly lower Heisenberg matrix so it is a square matrix having all the elements equal to 0 above first super diagonal super diagonal having all the elements equal to 0 above first super diagonal so that's the definition now let's go through its example let's suppose 1 2 0 0 5 5 1 0 minus 3 6 8 minus 2 and 2 7 5 2 now this is also 4 cross 4 matrix and the 4 cross 4 means it's a square matrix having equal number of rows and columns having all elements equal to 0 above first super diagonal now, what are the super diagonals these are all the diagonals present above the main diagonal this is the main diagonal here all the diagonals present above the main diagonal so 2 1 minus 2 is also super diagonal this this diagonal here is also 0 0 is also a super diagonal and this is also a super diagonal so what is first super diagonal which is present immediately above the main diagonal so 2 1 minus 2 is the first super diagonal so the all all the elements equal to 0 above first super diagonal so here we having all the elements equal to 0 above first super diagonal so that's lower Hasenberg matrix so Hasenberg Hasenberg matrix has to be either upper upper Hasenberg or it 
or it can be lower Hasenberg. So I hope through this video you learnt about what is Hasenberg matrix and try to write few examples on your own and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.